Hey everybody and welcome back to episode 15 on the channel of Planet Zoo. Last, or two weeks ago, I released episode 14 after a year of being away from Planet Zoo videos. I am so grateful to be back in this episode, episode 15, a complete rework of our uh, of the Africa area. And guys, between the cut... Um, you're going to see just how big of a transformation this is. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get this episode rolling. Let's go to those pictures, and we'll meet you on the other side of them. pictures just show how much things have changed and I want to talk about this change because if I remember right this was not something that I was planning on doing um, I think when I built this Africa area I, I may be wrong but I believe they were teasing uh, aquatic pack I knew that was on the horizon I knew that what that was going to mean for my zoo and I wanted to get ready for it, which is going to be in two weeks. Aquatic Pack DLC, a year after it's come out, is going to be in two weeks. But um, I needed to get rid of, ready for that. And I wanted to go more of a zoo thought. My, like my thought process was I need to get this more to be a zoo. And from what I remember was the buildings that I had for my Africa area were not zoo. They are too big, too grandiose. So I want to talk about it. First right here, the barn, which I believe was episode four, was right here. I really liked it, but you'll understand this more in episode 16, but this area right here needed to be cleared, this whole area, because this is where I was going to put aquatic pack which means I had to make Africa smaller. And at the time, I didn't have the Africa DLC pack. I didn't have that. It was just default zoo animals that were thrown in here. So, um, yeah, and that's what I did. So I still have the monkey house over here. Um, and I just kind of refocused it. One of the big things that I noticed when building this was there was no dead ends in this spot there had to be all loops that connected um, and so that's what i did um, i really liked this kind of main entrance to africa as well um, as it was like this this like i said main entrance to africa um, and i was really i remember building this exhibit this was one of my first no no no, no. actually lions over here we're gonna fly over here Lions were the very first exhibit that I built in Africa. Um, and I remember that I wanted to build this kind of, I grew inspiration off of Lion King and the Gorge in Lion King. That's why you have this rock formation like it is, is that they could come out here like they do in Lion King, Pride Rock, and they could stand out here. Unfortunately, they don't really do that but this like beautiful gorge and the guest could have experiences looking at this. Um, and then, oh, let's actually, these might be unbox all animals. Um, and so like I built this exhibit with like the, the fencing and everything 
to kind of keep them in here. I really like this exhibit um, as like this gorge. And then I had to go and cut in here of like this um, indoor area with like an observation point up here for the zookeepers to observe them and feed them meat and kind of just different things in here. And for them a place to get out of the cold temperatures because it does snow in my zoo. But uh, yeah, I just, I really liked this exhibit of of the lions and you can see it's deep. Like I like that it's deep and it's it just looks really cool. Um, the next thing that I wanted to do because I built this kind of area right here um, and then I had to, I wanted to bring a lot of my, like my zebras from over here, like my, yeah, my zebras and stuff and bring them up here. Um, and so I wanted to make a grasslands. In my other series that I, like my first full release zoo, I had, I was working on the same time or right before this of like a huge grassland area. And I brought that idea over here and I have this really cool pass over bridge. Um, and I really, I think it's so cool. I remember building this and being very frustrated about it, but uh, it is so cool. Like there's a ton of poop right now, but like you have two sections of this zoo or this, this grassland area. Um, and then I, this warthog area, I really wanted to, to have, but I wanted it to fill a part of the grassland area of like, maybe they had recently built this fence to build this warthog exhibit. And so like, there's this gate, um, and just a really cool warthog exhibit, um, like this mud pit right here. I don't know. I just really like this, this exhibit. Um, the other big thing I gained from episode 13 was is that I had to have like a concrete pond. Like they wouldn't just have mud because they couldn't clean it. And so they needed to have a little water source. And so that's your watering hole. And uh, yeah, and then this was a copy and paste, excuse me, from this building right here, which you've seen in previous episodes. Well, the other thing that I really wanted to do was I wanted to have variation of, of heights in this Africa area. So as you can see, they go down right here to go underneath this animal Passover. And then you're like immersed down in this canyon. Um, this one is a restroom building, but this one I gained inspiration from episode 13 as well as an exhibit. So these are all like your Africa exhibits um, down in this building. Um, and then over there is our um, hippos, which I'm gonna go over to now. So I remember building this exhibit and I built it all out and like cemented this. This was just a huge hole and I cemented it all and put the original like big hippos in here and I had two and cause like I transported them old from the old save and they didn't fit. So these are the little pygmy hippos, the little ones. As you can see, I think I have four in here and I think that works out a lot better. Um, I'm really sad I don't get a regular hippo, but pygmy hippos are so cute. Um, and then the elephants is my last animal in this in this area. Um, same thought, I wanted them to come over. I don't remember what zoo I gained inspiration for them coming over to a different area. Um, but this is like their backstage. Nobody can really see back here. And this is their front stage um, to be able to come out and, and walk around. Um, but I wanted to have like a, an extra that something a guest could pay extra for. And that is this area. So my thought is, is you would come in here and like you could come and bring field trips in here and they could talk about the elephants. 
but if you paid extra money you could actually go out here and take care of the elephants for like 50 bucks or something but anyway I also one of the things I really like is this area this watering trough you can actually see water coming in and then right here it looks like it crosses over and water falls in to the pygmy um, hippo. Uh, I just really like that effect. I thought it was really cool. And then this is just like this serene place to eat food and watch the, the pygmy hippos down there. I really, really, really like this area. I thought this was some of my best work. I thought I, I got it. I I think I built this in about three or four days and uh, I think it turned out really well I th in my opinion one other thing I did in this episode um, it again in preparation for the aquatic pack was I needed to rebuild the backstage and which meant I had to move stuff around so this was the original like road right here I believe um, if you if you look at um, the backstage photos which I'll put up on the screen the before and after um, so as you can see here's the main road coming into this old backstage and it goes straight out to the path where we look at this now the road is off to the side with a main portion of it going along the back of the zoo which was crucial um, the other thing that needed to happen was I needed to get ready for the aquatic pack over here and I needed to get uh, some more support um, buildings in so I think this is just like garages um, and then just like different so like this is I think a zookeeper yeah just tons of staff rooms um, and so yeah I just like I thought that this was a better change of than where it is and this even changes again as I like work in between 16 and 17 episode 16 and 17 this changes again after I've built the aquatic pack anyway I've rambled for 11 minutes <laughs> talking your guys's ear off about Africa <clears throat> I want to talk about for the last portion of this video, I want to talk about the Africa DLC because the Africa DLC is now out. When I built that, it wasn't out. I built this a year ago. So my plan is to uh, eventually implement these animals. You'll see this in episode 16 in two weeks. I have a very big portion of, of grassland right here. Um, when this episode comes out, this will be a day after the North American pack comes out. I plan on doing North American animals kind of right in this area and right here with maybe like Africa filling out right through here. This will make a little bit more sense next in two weeks when that episode comes out or this episode comes out a day after our North America excuse me in two weeks after this episode comes out will be episode 16 introducing the aquatic pack Epis in four weeks from when this episode comes out we're doing a south america area give you a hint it's over here and then episode 18 will be the north american pack in six weeks which i know six weeks is a long time away um but it's just kind of how the cookie crumbles, to be honest. So um, please stick around next week, Aquatic Pack. That is going to reshape all of this right along here and kind of really fill it out. I'm so excited for you guys to be joining me and me to be back in Planet Zoo. Because of these episodes coming out, I need to build episode 17 still. I'm in the middle of building it. And I'm having a ton of fun building these up and uh, building these. Um, anyway, 
Thank you guys so much for joining me on episode 15 of Planet Zoo, Union County Zoo. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and leave that uh, like down below. And uh, any suggestions on, on uh, uh, what, what, uh, what we should do um, moving forward. Like I said, I'm building over here the South American area. Give me inspiration. I, I would love to see it. Anyway, until next time, see you guys.